Those crucial 500 words of your Yuka's personal statement will be the key decider of whether you get into your dream university or not. It's well worth investing into an online course or a tutoring service to fine-tune and perfect your statement. Wrong. That's a lot of f***s. I know many of you are very seriously preoccupied with this personal statement, and I see there are plenty of people offering advice, some of whom even run a business doing that. But I am on the other side, one of the officers doing computer science admissions at Trinity College, Cambridge, and I can tell you how it really works. We want to admit the very best people, the most clever, the most capable. This does not mean the ones who can write the most flourish prose or who can pay the best tutors or online courses or who can brag the most. So don't bother telling us you are super keen and inspired and that you've dreamed of getting into Cambridge since you were little. You may say so, but everyone else also does. Don't bother writing that you're passionate about AI because everyone else also is. It's not a distinguisher. This stuff is really not worth the bits it's written on. Let me prove it to you. Write me three variations of a compelling UCAS personal statement that will get me accepted into Cambridge. I'm super keen about computing. I've dreamed of getting into Cambridge since I was a child. I'm predicted A star in maths for the maths and computer science. I've been programming in Python since I was 15 and I'm very passionate about AI. See, I expect most of this year's personal statements will have been written using ChatGPT. This devalues the personal statement for everyone, whether you do use a chatbot yourself or not. Do you know what will make you stand out? Not what you think about yourself, what you're passionate about or what you want to achieve, but what you've actually done because you were so passionate. Taking for granted that your school grades are outstanding, which is in fact an admission requirement, what else have you actually achieved that proves that you have initiative and talent for computer science? This is not stuff you can make up in the last month before submission. You must have been working at it for the past several years. It must be your nature, not something you put on to get in. One of the strongest predictors of success, and I've said this many times, is medals in the International Mathematics or Informatics Olympiads. If you got one or more of those, we'll definitely pay attention. And any other concrete stuff you've done will make you stand out, like designing and building something really cool. I've given examples many other times. Building your own computer, building your own operating system, your own video game, your own phone app, and even selling it on the App Store and making some pocket money, which never hurts. Give us actual verifiable facts not vapid fluff that the chatbot could make up as well. Of course, watch your grammar when writing your statement, because sloppy grammar is obviously something that sends a signal of sloppiness. But on the whole, don't overthink it. For more concrete advice about doing computer science at Cambridge, hit like and explore the other videos in this playlist. When you apply to a top tier, highly competitive place, the personal statement doesn't matter anywhere near as much as you have been led to believe. If you are truly great, we do want you and we will take you. Say flag to signal you were here till the end.